Ants are possibly the only organisms in the wild that never require assistance. They can accomplish everything. They developed jobs, perfected agriculture, and perfected the art of battle. However, they never assist outsiders and always prioritize the needs of their colony. However, there are species with an intellect comparable to humans that can make ants work for them. And much like humans, scientists were able to measure it. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you to the crow. Of course, they didn't have the courage to take a standardized IQ exam. However, their intellect could be much more developed than we ever imagined. Your friend probably doesn't mean you well when they refer to you as having a bird's brain. And it is not that surprising, since birds aren't known for having the sharpest minds, seeing that a majority of them have small brains. But for crows and ravens, it's a different story altogether. Crows have been characterized as the smartest birds on the planet in addition to being noisy and mischievous. <laughs> Beyond their supposed bad luck, there is plenty to learn about these birds. Crows, ravens, and jays are all members of the Corvidae family of birds. And over the years, people have marveled at these birds' intellect. They are so intelligent that humans could find them disturbing. To be honest, it doesn't help that a band of crows is referred to as a murder that some people think of them as signs of impending death, or that they are crafty enough to steal food and objects. To understand the intelligence of the crow, we must first investigate what intelligence is and how it manifests itself in non-human creatures. It is obvious what would happen if you put an unarmed man, even one who is strong or athletic, in the path of a rampaging buffalo or a hungry leopard. Simply said, humans lack the physical strength to dominate a significant portion of the animal kingdom. However, humans make up for our lack of teeth, strength, wings, or claws with inventiveness and adaptability. Try giving that same person a pointed rock and a stick, and the story may change. Additionally, it is easier to spot animals with an intellect comparable to humans when they display human-like behaviors. We often have the misconception that animals are more compassionate, sociable, and intellectual because of this. Intelligence, as we all know, is founded in the brain, and humans and other intelligent primates have a specific brain region known as the neocortex. This is supposed to facilitate the development of higher cognition. Corvids, for example, lack this structure. So how do we then approach the intelligence of a bird? Instead, they have developed tightly packed clusters of neurons that give them similar mental abilities. Even more startling is the reality that the bulk of these neurons are clustered in the area of the bird's brains that function similarly to the human cerebral cortex. In birds, the percentage of neurons allocated to this structure is frequently larger than in most mammals. However, it makes no difference what sort of brain they have. Why? That's because corvids and primates, in many respects, have similar underlying skills for problem solving and flexibility, or the ability to adapt. And all of this is possible because of convergent evolution, in which two distinct evolutionary paths have produced the same characteristic or behavior. Convergent evolution provides a deceptively easy explanation for a complicated, elegant, and completely puzzling event. Crows, like big apes, have the ability to use tools. While many animals use tools, crows are the only non-primate species to create new ones. Not only that, but local populations also pass down knowledge of tool making, tool preparation, and tool fashioning. Crows also use tools to get food. They frequently use twigs to dig for food or carry a range of items. In particular, it has been seen that new Caledonian crows turn leaves and twigs into hooks and barbed spears. These crows may also pick up the skill of making tools by imitating designs they have memorized. If it weren't awesome enough, crows make long-term plans. Future planning is not just a human trait. For instance, squirrels hoard nuts for times of scarcity. Crows not only prepare for future occurrences, but they also evaluate what other crows are thinking. Crows do not simply leave leftover food lying around. When there is an excess of food, they store it for later use in caches. And if, after catching its dinner, it notices another bird or crow watching it, it could actually pretend to be hiding its treasure. However, it would really tuck it away in its feathers. After that, it takes off in search of a new spot. If a crow sees a second crow burying its treasure, don't worry, it is well aware of the bait-and-switch scheme and will not be duped. Instead, it will find its new treasure 
by following the first crow. Crows frequently have preferred locations to store their food and identify such places with markings so they may remember where they stored the food later. And as we all know, certain foods last longer than others and go bad before others. We're guessing the crows are aware of this as well because they have been recorded eating meat first, then hoarding foods that don't deteriorate as fast such as nuts or bread. We may also safely assume that they are familiar with analogies. This requires us to travel to Japan and witness the murder of carrion crows. They are known to adore walnuts here, but if you've ever had one, you know that cracking one is not difficult but may even be annoying. Imagine yourself one of the Japanese crows who like walnuts but are unable to open them. You only have a few options left, one of which is to repeatedly drop it on a rock until it breaks open, allowing you to retrieve the treasures inside. Although that is wonderful, it is still difficult and frustrating. Let me suggest an alternative choice for you nutcrackers. You may be wondering if they created a nutcracker. They aren't that clever yet, but what they did is much more impressive. As a result, onlookers saw that a swarm of clever crows would drop their walnuts on the ground allowing cars to simply pass over them and crack them open. But they eventually discovered that when the lights went red, the cars always stopped. So when the light turned red, it caught the attention of observers that the clever crows would leave the walnuts in front of the vehicle tire and then wait for the light to turn red once more before picking them up. This is undoubtedly one of the most important facts you should see. Additionally, Ed Wasserman and his Moscow-based team taught crows to recognize objects that were identical to one another, same color, same shape, or same number. The birds were then put to the test to determine if they could distinguish things that had a relationship. A circle and a square, for instance, would be comparable to red and green rather than two oranges. Without any prior instruction on the ideas of same and different, the crows understood the idea after the first try and a crow video wouldn't be complete without mentioning that they can remember faces. Crows may pass on their resentment to their children and future generations. They have a history of ganging up on people that other crows have had a bad encounter with and are known to learn about harmful people through social learning. Even crows who have never seen the person before will join in and react fiercely. Another crow memory example comes from Chatham, Ontario. A half million crows harassed a farming community of Chatham, which was on their migration route. They used to merely go about causing trouble for the farmer, but the mayor of the town grew tired of it and began a war on the crows. The hunt began, and it was a very awful moment for the crows, who lost many comrades. But ever since the Great War, the crows have avoided Chatham by flying extremely high to avoid being shot. This, however, has not prevented them from leaving droppings all over the city. In another case, scientists wearing masks caught and branded seven crows on the University of Washington campus. Researchers discovered that even years after the crows were released, they continued to make loud warning sounds if someone wearing the same mask walked by. As we said previously in the video, some crows utilize sticks to acquire difficult-to-find food. In other trials, they appear to grasp the concept of water displacement. Crows discovered how to throw stones into narrow vessels to raise the water level so they could drink it or access a floating treat within. However, this is hardly a brand new observation. The age-old story The Crow and the Pitcher makes reference to it. Modern scientists have realized that the ability of an animal to solve problems, recall information, and be aware of its surroundings relies as much on its body shape and habitat as it does on its brain, making it almost difficult to apply an intelligent test across species. Crows are extremely intelligent, even by the same standards used to assess human intellect. One of the more amusing crow facts is that when you feed and befriend a crow, you may receive tiny presents. One well-known instance is of an eight-year-old in Seattle who made friends with local crows by leaving or sharing meals with them. In exchange, they would frequently leave her presents, such as beads and even a pearl-colored accessory. What do you think about crows, then? Did some of these surprise you? Or did you already know how smart they were? Please share your opinions with us in the comments section below.